don't suppose I could use that in my car? No, certainly not. No, I thought not. Look, I uh, hope you don't mind coming here. It's, uh, truth is, I get meals free if I mention them occasionally in my page. Not, uh, not drinks, unfortunately. Alphonse, who's here? <laughs> yes, sir, not a bad list. I'll see who I can mention. Thank you, my lord. Would you like a table? Cocktail? No, I don't think I want a cocktail. I haven't really time. Would you like a cocktail, Adam? They're not very good here. No, thanks. Are you sure? They're all sticking at this bloody table. The, um, yes, the lager beer is rather good. The lager would be perfect. Two small glasses of lager, please. Certainly, sir. Are you sure? Yes, true. Oh, look, that's Brown, isn't it? The Prime Minister just leaving. Yeah, I rather think it is. I wonder if he's going to resign after they'll be met. It was bloody typical of Vambra to get that juicy story about Agatha at Downing Street. I mean, why couldn't Miles have tipped me off instead? Just because they wouldn't let him, you know, in Oxford. God, what a cat, Miles is. Um, Adam, his mother's got a party tonight, hasn't she? For that uh, evangelist, Mrs. Melrose. Are you getting I think probably. Adam, I'll tell you a very odd thing. Margot hasn't sent me an invitation. Why not? Well, apparently she's in a rage about that picture of Miles in my column and all those nasty hints, even though I had nothing, nothing to do with it. People do take things so seriously. Adam, I tell you, it means ruin. Isn't that Pamela Popham? I have the faintest idea. No, but I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure it is. Now tell me, is that... Is that what you call a cloth hat? Uh, I got into terrible trouble the other day about hats. Edgar was raving. Ruin. I mean, Margot's invited Jimmy Vanborough, of course. Oh, yes. Well, Van's a cousin, isn't he? Well, so damned unfair. All my cousins are in lunatic asylums or else they live in the country and do indelicate things with wild animals. <laughs> if I miss this party, I may as well put an end to it all. I'm sure if Margot only knew how much it meant to me, she wouldn't mind my coming. Nobody invites me anywhere now. I tell you what, I know Margot pretty well. Why don't I ring her up and ask if you can come? <laughs> Would you? <laughs> Would you, Adam? <laughs> Nothing. Really, I can't understand what the young see in this. These new crazies are simply inexplicable. Hello? Margot, it's Adam. Adam, darling. Now, don't tell me you're going to cry off. No, no. I, I just wondered if I might bring someone with me. Well, I really don't think you can. I can't imagine how everyone's going to get in as it is. No, Chastity, darling, not red. Not at your age. It suggests all the wrong things, don't you feel? I'm terribly sorry, Adam. Who, who are you thinking of bringing? Simon Balken. He's terribly anxious to come. Yes, I dare say he is. I'm rather against that young man at the moment. <laughs> oh! Heavens. No, you can't bring Simon. He's been writing things in the papers, things about my son, Miles, which are beastly. Please, Margot. Certainly not. I won't have him inside my house. I only asked Bamber on the strictest understanding that he doesn't write a word about it. Mrs. Ape will be addressing everybody about Jesus. It could all be too shriek-worthy a disaster to think of. Absolutely not, Simon, of all people. You needn't tell me, I can tell. Two of my butterflies at once. Got your invitation to Lady Maitland's ball tonight, Balcarn? Of course, Lord Monomarch. You've been scooped by Vanborough's Lord Monocle column too often. Maybe I should give Chatterbox to Symes here. He owes me. I assure you, Lord Monomark. Mm. Be careful who you write about. I'll be there myself. Oh, God. Done for. Oh, poor Simon. <laughs>